figured for today's video, I would go and run a real time video for about an hour maybe. The plan is, hit all these apartments on this road and then I'm gonna kind of meander through some other apartments and try to get through an industrial park that's over there about a mile. And uh, the bad thing about what I do is Saturday and Sunday are the best times to come out here and do this, of course. And of course, football season started today. Well, actually it started Thursday a couple days ago, but so football season Saturday and Sunday, best times to do this. And also, it's getting darker earlier about this time of year. And also, The best time to make YouTube videos is going to be starting in September, October, November, December. Because, of course, the holiday season is the best time for selling stuff. So the Google AdSense videos or uh, Google AdSense advertisements. Uh, the companies will pay more money to compete to show ads on Google or on YouTube so long story short the best time to be a youtuber is in the next four three months or so and it's literally on top of football season and it's literally Saturday and Sunday in my line of work is the best days to do it. So it's just kind of a perfect storm of not goodness. What do you think? So I just watched the first half and it's half time. So I figured I'd come out and make a video. So I was thinking, uh, Maybe I just run a real time video for a straight hour. See what sorts of we what sorts of things we can find in an hour. it is here one twelve What kind of tool is that? That's an odd one. Anybody know what that is? Tell us down in the comments. That is a weird looking deal. I don't even have a guess. I 
actually saw an accident right before I started making this video. Wasn't anything bad, a little fender bender. Looks like someone's having a party. See those cans right there there's a guy who lives here or works here or both people set out them cans for him So I originally started making these real-time videos because to show the difference, there's just cans right there you can probably get, but uh, I started making these real-time videos to show the difference between what I, what I do and what you might see other people do. You won't see anyone in a car or truck make a real-time video. You might, but it'd be real boring. So basically what you see here in this hour, or whatever this turns into, it'll probably take maybe four hours in a big vehicle. And I'm not saying anything's I'm better or right or wrong. I just see the comment a lot telling me to do things differently and I just made these videos just to show show the difference As it turns out, the interesting thing though is on average, it's these real-time videos <laughs> that get me the most views on average, that is. I think people just like the, the non-stop motion of the video. So I should probably make more of these. I know a lot of my Patreon patrons that send me send me a handful of dollars every month it seems like they there's a motor in there i could keep but it's just so bulky i would be like three cents a pound so it's not that big of a deal but uh 
Patreon patrons. It seems like they say they really like these real-time videos. So. My analytics on YouTube say the same thing. They're actually the easiest videos for me to make. I don't know why I don't make them all the time. Let me know in the comments what, what type of uh, videos you like when it comes to this scavenging. The real time like you're seeing now or the edited ones where I'll start like right here and then just show this bit here. You know, like if there's something, I'd get it. And then uh, I'd get on my scooter and turn the camera off. Hi, Pooch! That's a stinky one. Yucky. It might be a thrill of the hunt aspect to these real-time videos. Farkle. Information for the great Farkle giveaway down in the description. That's coming up pretty quick. September 30th.
Both of you? Mm. Usually a dog there. It looks kind of like my dog. I'll chase. I was hoping they'd freak out. Them dogs look at ex looked exhausted. I don't know if the camera could pick it up. Probably been playing all day long. medicine cabinet <clears throat> it's actually not too bad you know what that's a nice piece of scrap I'm gonna put that in the free tail store it's a heavy dude it's not too shabby Clean up nice, what do you think? Free tail store, scrap yard. That'll be commenter's choice right there. Unless it bonks me on the back of the head. a comment the other day warning me about having all that back there look at that farkle that's a dime believe it or not i mean a 10 farkle there's no such thing as dimes in the farkle world comment the other day saying <laughs> saying how stupid i am or whatever for putting <laughs> a bunch of sharp metal behind me No one knows more about that than I do, trust me. In order for that to do anything, I would, I'd need to get smashed by a car, so. <laughs> it would be bad anyways. Best thing in any aspect of life is to always be prepared. So in the last resort situation, hopefully I would think about it in time. So I just try to launch myself airborne. <laughs> If I knew I was about to get smashed. Hey, there's a there's a broken uh, gas gas pump handle in there. I can't say I've ever found one of those before. 
check that out. That's the first time I ever score. It's got gas in it too. Look at that. <laughs> I wonder what those are made out of. Aluminum. I never realized that. That's all aluminum. I guess that makes sense. You don't want a spark in. Actually, that spring is steel. I'm kind of surprised they put a steel spring. You think it'd be like a something that wouldn't spark, like a brass or a copper? What do you think? Huh. It's kind of neat. What do you think about that? But uh, if it came to a ditch it situation, what I would try to do is just launch off my floorboards. It would be easier on a motorcycle if you had the pegs. You can... <laughs> on this thing I'm more liable to get hooked by the handlebars but I just try to launch up in the air thing it could happen is to take a flush hit down low by a big vehicle you know what I mean I'd much rather try to elevate at least a little bit <laughs> you know what I mean <clears throat> Used to be a little homeless camp set up over here. They eat all this restaurant garbage. Sewing machine action. What do you think? I think that's what that is. Looks like it's been busted up. That's a new one. New one. Cheaper one. Euro Pro. What's in there, too? I seen the plastic for it over there. Oi. Oi. No, it's not in there. Never mind. Yuck. Oh. 
there's the problem I've talked about many times. <laughs> Either find the battery or the tool, seldom are they together. Single source Black & Decker, that's probably got some value to it. I just don't know if it works. I'm sure it probably does, but you never know. What's this? Oh, hey, look at that. It's the charger. Now I don't know if it works. What do you think about that? Just missing the tool now. I've probably found that tool multiple times. <laughs> I was saying in a video a while back, if you just start hanging on to all that stuff, eventually you'll get things to match up. Maybe. There's just so much of it. And there's a little putty knife. So many different kinds.
you do this for a while and you start to just pick up the tiniest little things like I'm pretty sure it's a computer monitor down there uh no could be wrong about that actually um what is that thing that was a gutter i think that's made out of tin no ay, ay, ay. was looking so small huh that's the <laughs> that's one of the goofiest stands I've ever seen doing this <laughs> huh. little dill it's not bad lots of times if they're not broke these older ones I think this got some age to it They'll be in good working condition. Just like an upgrade or something, you know? <clears throat> Maybe. But I'm pretty sure. Pretty sure this is tin. No, it's not. Wow. Gas is leaking all over the place. Got a stinky mess going here. I want to try to keep this on there. Have a tendency to lose track of cords, end up scrapping it or something stupid. Nice little bag. First security bank. 
wonder why they threw that away. That probably belonged to a business, maybe. Huh. Might come in handy. See this type of carpet in here? This is good kind of carpet to use for like uh, cats and stuff. See how it's got the rubber? And that stuff will hold up a really long time. That rubber backing. Um, if you ever have the decision or opportunity or choice or whatever, if you're making like a cat post or something. You know the uh, catwalk I have around my living room? For those of you that have seen that, I have a piece about that size up there for traction. So the times when they fall off the edge, they can snatch it and claw it. And it holds up really good. The stuff lasts almost forever. Well, I don't have it all the way around, I guess. I have it in some spots. Try that on the scooter. Yeah, maybe. Oh, that's what I was worried about. <laughs> Stupid real time video. <clears throat> Try that again. <laughs> There's a moron on the loose. That one belongs to a pizza shop. Well, shoot, you know what? I guess it's not theirs. Yeah, there used to be a dirt path through here. Now it's all grass. So I might have to stop going through there now, but I think there was a store over here that had a lot of foot traffic. <clears throat> Something has happened. Because there used to be a beaten dirt path through that little stretch right there I think there was like one of those little fake wannabe casinos with the fake slot machines they were probably paying paying out money but for like store credit or whatever one of those loopholes I think they're gone now got here hey look at that that's a weird looking deal huh I don't even know if I want to touch it <laughs> electrical wires hooked up to a stainless steel clamp 
or not it's magnetic at least but uh anybody know what that is what a weird deal huh an electrified clamp it must be uh i don't know i don't know taking the temperature of uh whatever that's clamped around is that a thermometer what is that anybody know what that is As you can see I'm running a pretty well-defined little route here this used to be a Kmart is the main reason why I've went this way of course it's closed but this Kmart used to have an industrial dumpster back there man they just used to throw out all kinds of stuff I really miss it right there this is O'Reilly's auto parts store I'm pretty sure they scrap auto metal I don't know if I've ever even found anything in here outside of like maybe a customer dumps like some windshield wipers like I found earlier or something Industrial Park action. Hey, they got themselves a, a auto auto shop behind me has got themselves a miniature little uh, metal recycle dumpster. It's kind of interesting. That's another place that's always like that O'Reilly store as I said they always scrap their own stuff you can tell that the places that scrap their own stuff you just never barely find a trace of anything um, I'm kind of surprised they're leaving it out in the open like that they probably got a camera on it that's a nice piece of scrap right here that's uh Pretty sure it's all aluminum. All aluminum. It's nice. It's nice, nice, nice. And a light bulb for my turtle. Better get these bungees out. I have a feeling it's gonna be a bungee load. So it has 
adds the thing in the bottom. I talked before about this cast aluminum, how easy it'll break. I was talking about a big version of this that weighs like 200 pounds. I could chop it up. You can see how easy that cast aluminum just fell apart. This is just a miniature version of the big one, but that's what'll happen to it. Nothing to it. Cast iron. Last time I talked about it, I've seen some people in the comments wondering about that. If you have like a cast iron bathtub or sink, you can't can't lift. Maybe even a couple people can't lift it. Those will break. You just gotta hit them hard with something heavy. And wear eye protection. See me taking my glasses on and off. Most of the time I'm wearing eye protection when I've got this stuff around. But like if you hit a cast iron sink that's got like a porcelain coating on it or something, those slivers, they come off in a hurry and they hurt. <laughs> Even a cast aluminum or a cast iron metal itself will also Splinter off of there. Nice. Not gonna really do much unless it catches you in the eye, so that would hurt a lot. Dunk! I've had them bounce off my shin bones and stuff. It doesn't feel too good, but in the eye would be different, so. Have a look at the recycle dumpster. Ouch. Actually open. Wow, you see that? I don't want to catch any attention from them. They'll probably come out and yell at me. I can't leave it sit outside. I used to keep it inside. I think it's just full of rotors and stuff. Should have brought my second battery. Darn it. Let's see where we're at here. 202. Another 10 minutes is an hour. Oh, look at that. That's all uh, fiber optics cable, unfortunately. Looks nice though, doesn't it? There's a, maybe a little bit in there. But let's try to get down the road and show you some better stuff. There's a little bit of skibble scabble in there. Here, a batting cage. Ping. My neighbor works at this place.
the battery dies on me, I'll finish off the industrial part. And then I go home and get my other battery or charge this one there. I'll show you, I'll show you what I got. If you want to uh, give this a try yourself. part-time or hobby or just out of curiosity or whatever if you can find a big industrial park like this we have metal dumpster you so always stay away from the metal dumpsters nice piece of brass on there nice big industrial park Saturday or Sunday I would, I would recommend Sunday generally just kind of be like a ghost town a lot of overhead doors open today I think COVID-19 has people's schedules a little off whack I've seen people here on Saturdays and Sundays more regularly it seems like during COVID-19 plumbing shop they used to throw away some nice stuff I seldom see anything of value in there anymore <laughs> neighbor actually used to work at the plumbing shop That's, I never thought about that same street <clears throat> oh, hats in there Wendy's hat you got stickers still on it. I oh, know it's been worn on there, man. Little dirty hat collection in there. <clears throat> well, that wasn't too smart, was it? Give that to my cats.
<clears throat> I'm actually gonna conserve the battery just a touch here. I'm gonna end up right over there. This is a dead end, I have to drive all the way back around. Out this way, come back in over here. On my motorcycle, I used to go down through here and my mountain bike, but the scooter can't handle that, so. Oh, wait a second. Spoke too early. <clears throat> hey, look at that. That's magnetic. It's, uh, some kind of is it exactly there's a christmas lights company a uh, business around here that installs christmas lights i think it's that one over there they use this dumpster but uh here in a couple of months i might see gobs and gobs of big balls of christmas lights and stuff in here if that business is still here i don't know what that is Those might have been bolted together. It might have been some kind of table or something. Anyways, I think that's, see those red bows right there? I think that's the Christmas light place. That might be some old stuff they were using. Like a, I don't know. It almost looks like a welding jig or something. Uh, may have been Frankenstein into something. pieces of brass um well shoot my battery died when i turned the camera off right there so change of plans i went home watched a little more football and got a fresh battery so i'm gonna finish this industrial park out and then big apartment complex big apartment complex and uh, we should be able to just squeeze that in as long as I don't find a whole bunch of stuff in a bunch of different places. <clears throat> it's kind of an interesting little fan over here. It's kind of got that industrial look to it. That's kind of neat, I think. Something like that's probably sellable. Oh, something, something like that's definitely sellable, actually. It's nice. I might hang on to that for myself. <clears throat> Somewhere, there it is. Might not be too bad of a hose. I wonder, is that the, probably is, huh? Probably is, that is definitely an industrial looking deal. That's pretty slick, what do you think? Huh. Ah, about to sneeze. Ah. 
Uh. <laughs> Sheesh. Um. It's dusty. Um. Shoot. It's half tempted to keep it. Oh well. Oh well. Oh well. Making me look bad, Mr. Ceiling Fan. Huh. Definitely not your typical ceiling fan. Oh, oh wow. Sheesh. <laughs> Take that. Dusty. Sheesh. Okay. So right off the bat, after I bought this pair of snips, the tip broke off of one side, so it makes it a little more difficult. Shoot, you know what? No brass in that anyways. What a joke. Huh. Oh well. I don't see any. Excuse me. It's heavy. It's also just a touch heavier than a normal ceiling fan. Alrighty.
You ever wonder how it would be if we get rid of stop signs? Get rid of stop signs, make them all yield signs. What do you think? Sometimes I'll snatch these up. These ones here have some good weight to them, so. Most of the times I'll skip them, but if I can make a quick score where I can get enough to weigh a pound on the scale or to throw in with my aluminum, it might make my aluminum an extra pound on the scale. Nest them here and there. Went right in front of my face sometimes. This is the dumpster o sludge. Sludge. Let's get a good look at the sludge. The dumpster o sludge. Basically filled up with mud. Like at a dangerous intersection where there's like a blind turn or something where you can't see. I mean, you can still have stop signs in certain situations, but for the most part, stop signs are just basically costing people time and money. You'd be surprised how much how much that can cost wear and tear on your car, and how much time it could cost you over the span of your life. <laughs> It sounds stupid, but we're actually pretty good at doing stuff like that, socially, taking turns and whatnot. But uh, anyway. I mean, it's not even taking turns. First one there has it right away, just like normal, you know. Anyways, golf ball X pinnacle. See, look at it, just slopping mess. enough for that. I didn't even really try to explain it, should I? Just <laughs> long story short, stop signs are basically useless. 
that could definitely be turned into yield signs. Some good weight to it though. So yeah, I usually get a little piece of rubbish out of here, these last two dumpsters. <clears throat> I'm sure of. there's no doubt in my mind there's something
kind of stopped checking this one. This environmental service something or other. They do like, they test environmental tests of some sort, so. Oh, it's an environmental services company. It's always, it's always got little test, like little sample kit, used sample kits and stuff. I don't know. It's pretty sketchy. They're not supposed to put hazardous materials in these things, so that doesn't mean they won't, I guess. Hey, look at that. Give one away and it comes right back to me. Oh, that one's damaged though. I'll go ahead and bust this one up real quick. I just put one like this in a free tail store. Okay, Mr. Sink. Ah, oh, no, this is this is this one's a lot, a lot cheaper. The one I put in the free tail still was, a, I think it was an old one. It's from Montgomery Ward, so I think it has some age to it. This is just a cheapy, cheap cheapy. But the good thing about it being new and cheap is these things haven't had time to freeze on here, so that's good. I'm probably gonna have to bust it off and I'm just wasting my time, aren't I? <laughs> just that's just so cheap. I'm pretty sure I can do this. Get this in frame. Here we go. <laughs> just a flimsy piece of junk. Brass nuggets. So those kind of look like stainless steel. Let's find out what they are. Brass, brassiola. Brass of the Brassiola species. A subspecies of the copper family. <laughs> My last video was talking about Bigfoot <laughs> and Ozark National Forest. And I made a comment about might be cougars uh, or not uh, mountain lions around here I looked on Google and they've been seeing them all over the place the last few years got footage of a what they think is a black mountain lion black, so it'd be a black panther and uh, I was saying when I first moved down here there was sightings of a black panther but yeah, they've been seeing, they got, they got them on video. I got mountain lions on video around here. I guess they're moving into the area. I'm surprised they weren't here already. The interesting thing, 
kind of ironic is for like less 15 20 years people have been telling the fish and game that uh they've been seeing mountain lions <laughs> and they're just they just laughed at the people they're like there's no mountain lions around here just kind of made fun of them but uh, now i think like a sheriff of a county's got one on video and another police cam dashboard cam's got one sprinting across the highway in front of him and it's without a doubt mountain lions so the up-to-date story from the fish and game department is that they're just transients passing through and traveling but <laughs> i have to disagree if they've been seeing seeing it for that, that long around here and you gotta think for every one that a human sees there's probably a hundred of them that are out there they're pretty sneaky little critters They're saying they're just transients and they don't think there's a breeding population. I'm not sure why they would say that. About half of Arkansas is literally the natural state, just basically pristine and untouched, dense canopy, dense woods. Full of rabbits and squirrels and possums and deers and it's just it's got to be a mountain lion paradise i wouldn't be surprised if there's more than a thousand of thousand of them here already but anyways what i was getting to is there were stories and you can google it yourself it's kind of funny the point i was getting to is they're saying that it was starting to become like bigfoot around here People were saying they saw it and everyone was laughing at them saying there's no way. Lo and behold, there's a ton of them around here now. Oh, bicycle. Hey, that's that bicycle. I've been sitting back here for months. Someone flying through it in the garbage. It got ran over by a car. I'm sitting over here. Hundred percent Colombian medium roast coffee for the Keurig. What do you think about that? Did you know the inventor of these things wishes he never wishes he never invented them? Did you know the inventor of the television? 
and it got stolen by RCA and he went to court and fought tooth and nail and finally got the rights back and then he sold it I think to RCA or whatever but he uh, he couldn't believe the way people used it and so he wouldn't let his kids watch television <laughs> I put a lock on this one, look at it. Let's see what they're locking up. Plastic and wood. <clears throat> That's probably to stop illegal dumping. This is generally what that's for. Yay. Lake Granite. Anybody want some slabs of granite? That's some nice circle ones there, look at that. Satellite dish. What the heck, it's been a while since I took one of these. Just... Uh, I can find my screwdriver, let's see. There we go. These come off pretty good. A little piece of aluminum breakage here. Actually, you could probably get clean aluminum for it. <clears throat> that plastic comes off there pretty easy. And it's a big hunk of aluminum. It's not exactly clean, but scrapyard might. Let's just slide, depends. Get rid of the coaxial cable.
That's what's behind the Farkle phenomenon around dumpsters. See how that couch is upside down? The furniture Farkle phenomenon. Perhaps futons. Oh boy, look at this. Isn't that nice? <laughs> <That's> just... <laughs> it's almost unbelievable, huh? Pan of dirty motor oil, about two millimeters from the edge. It's a baby pooch. Uh, see this right here? This is a, uh, most likely a little kid doing their chores. Not big enough to get the lid open or bags too heavy, one of the two or both combined. And then raccoons will come and tear that open. Spread it all over the parking lot. And then the managers or the owners of the property will try to rip the heads off of a scavenger <laughs> for making a mess. But at the same time, there's just so much of it. Uh, someone gets paid around here to do stuff like that. So I'm not the dumpster fairy. I'll toss some of it in there sometimes. Not that 
check them totes. Totes are the indicator. Indicator extraordinaire. A lot of doubt what you think about that. That was nice. La dee doo da dee. Hey, what's that? Electric blanket, I think. Oh, it's electric pet. I think it's an old dirty electric pet bed. Maybe. Boy. Oh, it's just an Amazon. So it's nothing real expensive, but it's not too shabby. Amazon could almost probably give those away for free, what do you think? I wonder, I wonder if they ever done a study on that. Give them away for free. Would that increase their sales? You know what I mean? Get to a point where how Shark Tank put it, make 50% of a watermelon as opposed to 100% of a grape. I don't know, but I would definitely look into it. Hey, look at that. That's a free tail gem. A little repaint on that dude. TV. Yummy. TV and dinner. What do you think? TV dinner. Get it? Toaster, yay. <clears throat> Did I do that? No, I didn't. That's already there. I can prove it. <laughs> My tire prints on it. Forest fire smoke. A couple months ago, it was sand and dust from 
a desert across the Osa. And now it's got a similar look. I'm pretty sure that's smoke from California, Oregon. It's a different effect though, the, the sand. The desert dust made the sun look like it was huge. If that's smoke up there right now, I don't know if it is for sure, but it's making the sun look really small. And you can, you can actually look straight at the sun with your eyes. It's not too often you can look at the sun straight straight at it with your naked eyes. I got my sunglasses off. I'm looking straight at that sucker. That's pretty odd. Oh, I saw another little story too. If I have time in this video, I'll show it right now. Little asteroid action coming to our neighborhood Monday. Problem with them asteroids is. <laughs> It's just a matter of time, you know? It's just a, it's basically a effect, just a matter of time, you know? Uh, I don't know. If there, if it's a giant asteroid, there's really not anything you can do. But if it's a small one like that, where we could live through it, I wouldn't be a bad idea to have uh, a couple cupboards filled to the brim with some canned food. Look at this, this guy's driving off. Look at this. Oh, shoot. Uh. He hit it. Oh, oh, wow. There, look at that landing right there. 
and it's going through these leaves and the trees. <laughs> I hate that. Caution, watch for flying golf balls. <laughs> I was gonna tell the story about how people tee off right there and it's dangerous. Right when I pointed, I heard clink, seeing a guy swinging. pillow you ever tried on body pillows they work good if you're waking up and you got sore hips and knees and back sore if you're just sore waking up you can get some of them body pillows I use two of them next to me I put it like between my knees and above my arm and, or under my arm. It takes all the stress off your joints. Try them body pillows. Putting them between your knees helps a lot. pieces of wood <laughs> look at see it's a forest forest fire in California Smoke. What? Smoke. It's not, it's impossible. From California? Yeah, it's a huge fire. I, I, I'm guessing, but I'm probably right. No, I don't think go, so. Go. Nah, it's a huge fire. It's the biggest in history. What? It's pretty amazing, really. It's even, I can even look at it better now. It's like looking at the moon. It's like looking at a full moon. That's absolutely wild. I noticed a couple nights ago I couldn't see the stars, but there was no clouds in the sky. Second biggest in history. It's what I read a couple days ago. I was just making the assumption that it's still gone. That's not cool. I'm 
I'm just gonna do everyone a favor. Uh, it's broken out right here anyways, so i just take care of that before that happens. What is that? Oh. Mm -hmm. I'm not bad. A little Samsonite. What do you think? A little travel bag. Oh, hey, that's pretty slick. It's not too shabby. What's this? Tommy Hilfiger. Uh oh, got a little something out of there. Look at that. Well, find a spot where it's not gonna get ripped up. There we go. Ah, that's just. It's got a fray here and a fray there, but uh, you know what? I still think that's free tail worthy. What do you think? You can just take like a. That's got a little, little fray there. It's not bad. That's the kind of deal where you can take like a lighter and just burn that, and that'll burn off, and you can barely even notice it. So uh, we're actually going to take that to the free tail store. It's got something in it. I don't want to sit here too long. No, it doesn't. Never mind. Well, one way or the other. actually keep that for myself that will clean up in a way where it almost looks almost looks new I'm gonna zoom in the camera as soon as I get out of this place, I'm gonna zoom it in and I'm gonna get a better shot of that sun. It's pretty wild stuff. Yeah, it's, it's gotta be that smoke from the fires. The lower the sun goes, the dimmer it gets. The lower it goes, the more and more smoke it's sitting behind, you know what I mean? It's like looking at an eclipse. Except for there's no eclipse. Pretty cool. Unfortunately, I've only got 5% battery. That was good timing. Hopefully, you can see that. I should have zoomed in on it earlier. These GoPros, you gotta turn them off to go to a, from wide angle to a narrow angle. Look how dim that is. Well, I hope you 
hope you enjoyed this little session as always thanks for watching how you doing Yield sign.